Hi guys, and welcome to another video. So as of this morning, Sunderland have announced their retained list for the coming season. Of course, we've got players that have been released. We've got a couple of players that have had new contracts offered. And uh, so we're going to go through the whole list. We'll go through the Sunderland statement. And then we're going to have a look at the players we do have left, first team players. Of course, in the statement, it does include youth team players, scholarships and all that kind of stuff. But we will, at the end of the video, just uh, speak about the uh, the remaining first team players we do have or uh, or players that we've seen generally in the uh, around the the first team squad what we've got left and what I believe we need and it's going to be a lot considering we still have injuries I know of course by the time next season comes around you'd like to think a good bulk of those injuries will be uh, will be sorted out but some of them they might only be just about coming around you know at, at the start right at the beginning of next season which isn't ideal, so we need backup, and we, we need new players anyway. We need new players. We need new blood. Um, you know, we were so close this season, given uh, we had so many injuries. I know a lot of teams have injuries, but you, you could argue that Sunderland had the worst injury record last season, going through the majority of the season without a striker, as we've said. We had no centre-backs at, at many points throughout the season, and, and everyone was just filling in and doing the job, and we still managed to get in the top six, and you could... You can only think, you know, sort of what could have been had we not had to suffer such a horrible injury record. But either way, we're going to get straight into the uh, the retained list because it's a quite a lengthy one. I don't want to take too much of your time. I thought I'd just give you the guys this, this this update here. So we'll start off with the uh, the statement from the club. So Sunderland AFC today confirmed its retained list for the 2023-24 season. Carl Winchester will depart the club after two and a half years, while Jacob Carney will also leave when his contract expires on the 30th of June 2023. Amadiello, Edward Mishu, and Joseph Gelhart have also returned to their parent clubs. Everyone at Sunderland AFC would like to thank their players for their professionalism and commitment during their time at the club and wish them well for the future. Now, for me, Carl Winchester, I love the lad. I think he's a great professional, and I think... Any League One club will be very, very lucky to pick him up because I think in the centre of midfield, um, he's really struggled to get into our side, but I can see what he offers. He's very intelligent on the ball and his work rate is second to none. We ended up using him and utilising him as a right back because we needed it. It's another another season when we're in League One where we were just battered with injuries and we had you know centre midfielders and wingers playing at right and left back. Uh, and Carl Winchester did fill in excellently well in our promotion season at right back for the for the a, a good chunk of it anyway. Um, so I, I absolutely think that he could do a job in League One. Maybe in the future he could even do a job in the Championship for a, uh, for some side out there. But I don't have a bad word to say about the guy. As for Jacob Carney, we you know we've barely seen him. I don't think he's made a first team appearance. I don't believe. But um, yeah, all the best to him. I, I think when he come, I think he come from Manchester United. I, I was. Um, Quite excited to see him. I believe he's done a half decent job in the academy, but obviously we haven't seen or he hasn't shown enough for us to, um, or at least done enough to warrant a new contract, unfortunately, for him. But all the best to him. And of course, DLO, outstanding play. He's going right to the top. We know this. Mishu, loads of potential there. Gellar, it's a, it's a hit and miss one for me because you can see that it, we brought him in to work alongside. Ross Stewart. Ross Stewart's injured and he ended up being a long striker, which it just isn't his position. So he's put in a really unfair position. You know, the amount of pressure that was put on him to to get us the goals and it ended up being all the wingers. We obviously were Clark, Roberts, Diallo. It was all them lot getting all the goals and Gelhart was just running his socks off, bless him. And he's playing in a role what he's not really familiar with. And again, I think alongside someone, we could have seen a much different uh, spell for Joe Gelhart at Sunderland, but it wasn't to be. So all the best to him. You know, he probably has a lot of potential to him as well. Uh, but anyway, we'll go on to the list now. So with these other contracted players still under contract at the club, heading towards the new season, we have Alessi, we have Anderson, Abdullah Bar, we have Bollard, Alex Bass, Danny Bart, Bennett, uh, Thomas Chiabi, Dennis Serkin, Jack Clark, Ben Crompton, Leon Diaku, Jack Diamond, Equa, Embleton, Evans, Gooch, Huggins, Hume, Zach Johnson, Caden Kelly, Isaac Lahadji, Jay Matete, uh, Dan Neal, Luke O'Nine, Anthony Patterson, Alex Butcher, Connor Pye, Adam Richardson, Patrick Roberts, Ross Stewart, Ellis Taylor, Max Thompson, Timur Chiotirov, uh, Callum Wilson and Bailey Wright, of course, as well. Now, out of all of them currently, we have Ross Stewart injured, we have Bennett injured, we have Embleton injured, we have Evans injured, <coughs> pardon me. We have Sirkin injured. We have Danny Bart 
injured. We have Bullard injured. We have Wright injured. There's a lot of players in there we do not even have access to right now. Of course, some are short term, some are long term. But a lot of those players are currently injured. which so It leaves us with only Patterson and Bass uh, as goalkeepers. Uh, left back, we only have Sirkin or Huggins who could go there. Of course, Alessi can go there as well. We have O'Neill, Barr, Anderson, Ballard and Wright in centre-back positions. Um, and Alessi, I guess. But like I say, we, we have Wright, Ballard and Bart all injured. Gooch and Hume as right-backs. Uh, in the middle, we have Ekwa, Matete, Neil and Evans. Of course, Evans being injured. As a sort of number 10 role, we do have Barr, we have Pritchard, we have Embo. Again, Embo being injured. On the left-hand side, Clark or Bennett. Bennett's injured. Then on the right-hand side, of course, we have Lahaji, Diaku, uh, Patrick Roberts. And of course, the only strike we have at the club is Stewart, and he's injured. So uh, that is how the team is looking at the moment. So if you look at it straight, as you know, right now, I'm just going to work my way around it. Patterson and Bass, we've got that there, so... I think we need an experienced head, an experienced goalkeeper in there. I know Patson is our number one, and rightly so at the moment. Um, Bass is a good backup, but I think to just chuck in a really experienced uh, goalkeeper, um, uh, you know, within that bunch, I think that would be an excellent trio uh, as goalkeepers. Not necessarily to replace Patson, or of course, if we do manage to lose someone who is better than Pat, of course, that'd be great. But for me, it'd be nice to see Pat continue to grow, continue to be our number one. But the only way he can grow is by competition. So I'd stick another goalkeeper in there. Um, we definitely need a full-back, at least one full-back. I'd say two centre-backs. Um, I think Anderson should be going out on loan. Maybe get let go of Bailey Wright as well, so that would chop down a couple of a couple of defenders. Um, I think we need another, another centre-back there because of our injury record there. At least you know another centre-back, possibly even two. In the middle, we have Equa, Matete, Neil and Evans. I think we need, of course, Bellingham. Uh, we've been uh, you know rumoured around a lot. Matete, he did an outstanding job at... Plymouth, it would only bring his confidence up. You know, a lot of these players, when we come up to the Championship, we thought they're not going to cut it. They've only got League One experience. But Teddy is sort of not necessarily tested in the Championship. And after they get that really good run and get promoted with Plymouth, it'd be nice to see him at least give him a go. Do you know what I mean? At least give him a chance. But I think we need to bring in at least one central midfielder in there. I think we need a solid sort of physical midfielder in there. Maybe alongside Bellingham, possibly. Now, in terms of wingers, I think we're pretty much set. You know, we've got Roberts, Lahadji, Clark, Bennett. Um, Diaku, for me, is... I've never been a fan of Diaku. A lot of you guys who follow the channel for a while will know this. Diaku, for me, is nowhere near it. He didn't cut it for me in League One. He won't in the Championship, for my opinion. Um, in the number 10 roles, I think Barr, I think he, if he gets given a run of games, I think he could be outstanding. Um, up top, we absolutely need a, a couple of strikers. Two strikers, for me. I think it would be good to see someone with a physical presence. When we had the likes of Ellis Sims alongside Ross Stewart, it was incredible because we had those options where if our uh, tactics and our game, our system, when we just play the ball on the ground, when that's not working, we did have the sort of route one option to hump it forward. And we did that quite a lot uh, originally. Of course, we had the pretty football, but when it wasn't working out, we could hump it up to Stewart and Sims. And, and they would just bully defenders and force goals for us, even when we did have our backs against the wall. And after, so I think we need that. But also, I do think we need that sort of nippy, pacey strike to nip in behind. And in one of those games where maybe you are coming up against a back line who are filled with sort of veterans that don't have that much pace, but you've got someone like Stewart who can flick balls on and we can get him behind and nick him behind that way. I, th I think that's definitely what we need. So, easily for me, a goalkeeper, a full-back, two centre-backs, maybe even a couple of central midfielders uh, and a couple of strikers. And I think maybe, if you have a look at it, you know... Possibly another number 10, I don't know. But I think I think if we are just sticking with what we've got there, I think that's probably what we need. We need it at like seven or eight players easy, easily, really, to cover these injuries alone. <laughs> to cover these injuries alone. But that's pretty much what I think we would need. Of course, let me know in the comments down below what you think we need as well. But we will finish off the statement with the rest of uh, the contracts to be offered. The club are in discussions with the following players regarding signing a new contract. Harry Gardner and Michael Spellman now out of contract and released. We have Harrison Bond, Jacob Carney, Cameron Jessup, we have Ethan Cachosa, Nathan Newell, Owen Robinson, Thomas Scott, Harrison Sonner. If you remember, Sonner actually played a handful of games, I think it was in the Papa John's uh, a year or two back. And uh, it was okay, he was all right, but it apparently he did have a bit of potential. But obviously, we haven't seen him since really, have we? And of course, Carl Winchester again, wish him 
all the best. But that is the retained list and my thoughts. I know it's just a bit of a ramble on, really. Uh, but again, like I say, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, where do you think we need to improve? Who do you think we should sell, keep, and all that kind of stuff? Let me know again in the comments. But if you've enjoyed, please hit the like button for me. It'd be massively, massively appreciated. And subscribe to the channel if you're not already to become a fully fledged member of the Sony Army. But for now, take care and stay jamming.